Okay, what I've made here is what I refer to as a tennis ball cannon. And uh, how I made it is I used five soup cans, which you can see one, two, three, four, five. Now there's different diameter soup cans and you want to use soup cans as close in diameter as a tennis ball that you can get. And a tennis ball is two and a half inches in diameter. But I'm going to show you exactly how I made it, what I did to each individual can. And then we're going to test fire it two times. Uh, one directly straight up in the air uh, to count the hang time. And next we're going to shoot it for distance. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I did to each can to get this thing to work. Okay, to make this thing, the uh, four top cans I did all the same. And you can see on the inside, I've used a can opener and I've punched five holes. And then I've drilled a uh, center hole with a drill bit. And I've done this to all four top cans. And the purpose of this is what I use to shoot this cannon off with is I use lighter fluid. And what I do is I just squirt some down in the hole. And then what you want to do is pump the can and force air all the way through it. And the bottom can, you can see I've actually got an ignition hole. But you want to pump air through it and you want to turn that lighter fluid into fumes because fumes are more explosive than a liquid. So that's basically how I made it. Four of these and then the bottom can with an ignition hole. So I'll go ahead and set this up and then we'll go, we're going to do the two tests. One for height and one for distance. And another thing just to show you. Okay, once you've uh, squirted some lighter fluid down the hole, what you want to do is take the cannon and just do this. Try and force air through that opening to create those fumes. <clears throat> once you think you've done that, you just drop the tennis ball down the top of it. You set it down. And then take a lighter and light the ignition hole and it'll launch it off. So that's what I mean by pumping air into the can. So with that said, let's go ahead and I'll set it back up on those bricks and get the camera set up. And we'll go ahead and launch our first test. Three, two, one. Here it comes. One, two. Oh God, you can see it. Here it comes. Oh, right there. Uh, it was about a four second hang time. Three, two, one. Here it comes. 
Three, two, one. Holy crap. Three, two, one. Holy crap. Three, two, one. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Oh my god, here it comes. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Holy moly. There it is. That was about a five second hang time. Three, two, one. That was about five seconds. Okay, on the uh, vertical hang test, I was, uh, I looked at the videos, and I was getting a hang time anywhere from five to six seconds, which should equate to about 200 feet in the air. So, uh, what I've done now is I've set up a primitive tennis cannon launcher. But you can see it right there. There's the cannon. There's my propellant. But what I'm going to try and do is we'll, we'll launch it a couple of times. And you can see that tree line. I've got it aimed to try and go right between that tree and that tree. And that tree line down there is right close to 200 feet from the launcher. So what I'm going to do is I'll position the camera behind the launcher. And then we'll go ahead and do uh, some test fires and see if we can actually put it over the top or into those trees. So let's go ahead and get set up. Tennis ball cannon launch, test number one. Okay, I don't know if the camera caught that, but it was just short of entering the tree line and it bounced into the tree line. 
So let's go ahead and try it again. Test number two in three, two, one. Okay, test number two. It was just short of the tree line and bounced into it again. I'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time, see if I can get it to go into the tree line. Test fire three in three, two, one. Well, that one went into the trees. About halfway up into the tree line. So I'm guessing it probably would have launched it about 230 feet. But anyway, that's my uh, tennis ball cannon. Like I say, I, I've used five cans on this cannon. And the more cans you add to it, the more combustion you'll get and the farther your ball will go but I, I just like I say I did five cans if you'd like to try it try seven cans and let me know what you end up with this has been a prospecting full production see you next time